Hey guys, so what's going on? Um, in today's video, we're going to be making this double sided blue that is halfway done. Um, pretty much just going to be making this lure and finishing some other ones, so I'll see you guys there. These little things are here, the I just epoxied them in, um, or this little thing's here, I just epoxied it in. Um, not completely dry yet, so I'm not going to get rid of this right now, but this is going to be probably pretty hard to cut, and it's also probably going to ruin some razor blades, so I'm pretty much just going to go and put the chamfer lines on it, and probably drill the lead holes, or the lead hole. We're not going to put that much in it, probably because, well, this thing alone, just the wood, weighs more than one of these that are done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, and I think next we'll do the lead and drill the eye sockets and um, the hole for the holes for the line ties. Okay, I'm just going to come back whenever this is getting closer to finished because this is going to take forever. Okay, so I have the lure here. I've got most of the uh, chamfering lines down or the chamfering cut. Um, I did end up cutting the whatever broke off, off, broke off on the lip. I got that cut. Um, so now I'm pretty much just going to spend an hour or two sanding this. That honestly took forever. I was chipping razor blades with it. But yeah, looking pretty good so far. Just gotta sand sand it a bunch, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding. I'm going to go ahead and sand the rest of this down off camera. I'm just using some 120 grit right now. I'm going to go to some um, 220. I'm going to do that off camera. Then I'm going to go to the orbital sander and sand with 1200 grit. got done sanding it with the 1200 grit on the orbital sander uh, I did um, sand a little bit more off camera with the 1200 grit but 
it polished it somehow. I'm pretty sure that's just so how hard the wood is. It was more polished than this, but I touched it a bunch. So it's kind of not as shiny. You can see right there. I can't wait to get some clear coat on this. Um, um, I don't know if I said this or I think I didn't. Um, I went upstairs and put it in a glass of water to test and see how much lead I needed to put it in, and it sank to the bottom of it. And there's not lead or anything in here. And I don't think I said this. I am using blood wood for the bottom and um, yellow heart for the top. It was just a scrap that we had glued together. So I decided to cut out. I got a couple, I brought a couple more scraps like this. So I think I'm going to be making some more lures like this. I don't know how the action is going to turn out. It might end up just being a lure that sits on a shelf or something because it sinks. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, so I'm going to probably just paint a little bit of black on the top, a shad dot, maybe some gills. And that's probably going to be it. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes for the lead, um, line ties and hook hangers, um, the eye sockets, and I'll probably glue the lip in. So I'm going to be back when I am doing that. Uh, so I'm going to drill these lead holes out, all uh, the lead holes, the line ties, and the eye sockets. Um, I just have a super small lead or Forstner bit for the lead hole. It's the same size as the eye sockets. I think it's uh, one fourth inch. So it's going to be super small. I'm not putting a bunch of lead in here, just enough to keep it upright. So I'm going to go ahead and start drilling. Okay, um, that was like, I keep on dropping this, super hard, I had to get um, water to dip that drill bit in because it was getting hot, but I got everything drilled, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bait, um, the yellow, or the yellow heart's definitely softer than the blood wood, but I'm going to go ahead and put the hardware in the bait.
Well, I put some sawdust of the same wood on here just to get it um, same color so it didn't stand out too much where the lead is. But I put the sawdust in the um, epoxy for the lip right there. So that sucks. I'll clean it out though. Okay, so I got the thing sanded down a whole bunch. Um, I'm pretty sure the last clip that you saw was me sanding this down. Um, I did put some super glue on there. I'm going to sand it with, um, what is it, 1200 grit. I'm going to sand that down a little bit more before I take it home. And I think I'm just going to paint some black on the top, paint some gills, paint a shad dot. I don't know if I'm gonna paint anything down here. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna sand the rest of this down. Um, I ended up finishing some more of these. Well, these have been needing to be finished for a while. I just brought them down and put the lips in them and stuff. Here's these, these are actually, well, I actually made it a little too small, but it'll be fine, I can just paint there. It's photo finished, which is pretty cool. Here's one that I did. Turned out pretty good until I was gluing in the uh, joints and I still glued my finger to it. And now I'm kind of mad about it, so I don't know what to do about this. And I also, this was about halfway into the joint whenever it decided to set up and I couldn't get it out I kind of bent that joint there so I don't know what I'm going to do about it I might fix it some other time I tried buffing part of this out but it kind of turned out matted as you can see so I don't know what I'm going to do about that I'm going to try to fix it and just use it for myself but these other two are going to just be some that I actually make now I have some big swim baits there the same as the ring well the one's going to be rainbow trout. This is going to be kind of a big shad. Uh, I'm making those for a guy. I'm going to go ahead and just sand this down. And probably the next time you see me. Good grief, I wish I could hold on to this. Next time you see me will probably be tomorrow whenever I'm back home. And probably painting this. going to sand it down some more. Um, and yeah, that should be about it before I start painting. Actually, it looks like it's going to be really cool looking. It's kind of hard to see 
on camera, but the wood is like reflective. There you can kind of see it. It's not the shine of the super glue or anything. It's like the wood. It's easier to see in real life. It was um, just really hard and kind of reflective. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Okay, so I have the roof here. Um, I'm just going to do a pretty simple paint job on it. Um, I'm going to put some black on the top, I think. I'm going to put some kind of a stripe down the middle of it where that seam is. Um, some paint goes on it. And that's probably going to be it. I might put a little bit of something on the belly, like red or something. Just a little bit, though, where that lead was. Or is. So, I'm going to go ahead and paint this in quick and get a clear coat. Um, I also, I also, um, sanded down the side of that lip, um, with a used 3000 grit piece of sandpaper. It was pretty much just buffed it, so it's pretty polished. Um, I also sanded down the rest of the liver. I found more with some fine grit stuff, because I want, I don't normally do that, but I want the, um, Epoxy do have a really nice finish because that's what is going to make the paint look good, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting. White for the gills. Red, I'm going to do that on the belly, and probably, well, yeah, just the belly. I'm going to do red on the belly. And I'm doing the red before I do the black, so I don't have to go and clean out the airbrush completely. I'm going to go ahead and do some black on the front of the gills and the top. And then I'm going to take this rose gold and I'm going to do some scales just up along the top here. And I'm going to put some on the, probably a little bit on the face and then, what the heck, cat just sneezed. And I'm going to put some on the black up top. And then I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do for the line on the side. Okay, so I'm going to mix some of this um, rose gold with just some water to water it down a little bit so it sprays through the brush. I'm going to do just a little bit up here on the gills and I'm going to do some on the back. I don't think I'm going to put anything down the middle there. I really don't want to mess it up and I don't think it will look that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rose gold. Okay, so here's the lure. Um, try to get some light on it. Uh, I'll get some better shots here in a second. You can kind of see it there. It is. Um, I didn't end up. I ended up not putting a line down the middle of it. I didn't want to mess it up. You can kind of see it better. Um, like an idiot, I forgot to cable up the bill, which it should be fine. It should just go back. Um, 
I can't talk. Um, the scales end up going down a little farther than I wanted them to, but it did end up okay. I don't mess up or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lines on this and clear the paper. Uh, so I have a choice between silver and gold eyes. Pretty sure I'm gonna go with the gold ones. I think they look a little bit better on that wood. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the gold eyes. And yes, I know my uh, rotisserie looks like a pile of crap. I actually built one this weekend. I just needed something to clear cut lures on before. Well, whenever I got this, I did. But in the next video, you'll probably see it. I am gonna be pretty much finishing the other one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these eyes on and clear cut the lure. There it is on the thing. I did mess up. Well, the first time I should have done it, it did not. I just fucked my mess up. It was kind of supposed to be a clay pot or thing, but it's not. Like, I messed up the top cover and everything. Which I should have done it if I messed up the top cover. But whatever. I could have messed up a little extra. I definitely need to get some more of this stuff. But it kind of goes quickly whenever you're making that thing. So I'm going to wait a little because this thing is foxy. I gotta get this thing get away from it so I'm not gonna keep losing speed up on it or whatever. I don't tell you it is amazing the bottom. It's amazing and I don't have that stuff going on. I definitely need to make a little bit more looks a little bit better than the way the bottom kind of wood does. But they both look um, good. They look like they're stuck to the lure eyes. It's kind of odd. Can't really explain it. Easy for me to see. But yeah, I'm gonna let this cool and I guess I'll be back with you guys tomorrow whenever it is. So okay, so the lure is on the rotisserie night rotisserie right now. Um curing. Um I guess I'm gonna be back with you guys tomorrow, but um I do have an I know this rotisserie looks like crap, but I do have a new one that I built this weekend that I'm gonna be finishing and putting the actual motor and stuff on and I'm also going to be well we ordered some wood this week or this weekend too so I'm gonna keep it a secret it's gonna be pretty cool 
I'm gonna make some videos on that. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow and take some pictures of you real close. Um, yeah, there's gonna be some good videos coming soon. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so it is the next day. Um, I have Volo done. Turned out pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get some up close shots of Volo. Yeah, I'm just gonna get some up close shots of Volo. Um, so like I said, I'm sorry this video was kind of long and probably boring, but I'm definitely uh, making some better videos soon. I have some wood coming that's going to be really cool. Um, that's going to be a video coming up soon. I have a bunch of other ideas, so I'm going to take some pictures and videos of this up close quick and throw it in at the end of the video, and I will see you guys on the next one.